Welcome to How to Repair Your Own Legend Now. We appreciate your coming here and getting information from us. And we've just got a little bit of some bookkeeping kinds of things here to go over with you as we start. We're going to cover the four areas of this that, that we feel are really important. We call that assess, correct, make over, and monitor. So we're going to cover those things. We would like you there on the webinar, you can type in questions to us. You can see that right there on your screen right now. Uh, we can't get to all these questions right here. We know that. I'll be monitoring over here as Dr. Mark is doing some other things over there. I'll be monitoring where these questions are and I'll jot down some of these questions and we'll answer some in those four areas. And every time we finish an area, we'll answer a couple questions, maybe one or two questions and then right. we'll move on. But rest assured, I mean, Feel free to put in uh, your questions now because we will yes. answer all of your questions. It's just that the ones we can't get to during the webinar itself, we're going to send you back by email. Right, we'll email you. And if you send us a really awesome question, we may actually create a whole podcast about it uh, separately afterwards because we love to answer questions. Okay. And also, you know, one of the fun things we have found too for uh, Google Alerts, if you have particular clients that you really want to keep tabs on, right. you want to put an alert on that person. Maybe you want to uh, send a congratulatory note that something just happened. They just uh, received a promotion or something just happened in Talk about business. looking good for your, your highest uh, client to be monitoring them and, and the minute they them. got something you, you're immediately, I mean, how, how good is that going to make that person feel? How, how impressed are they going to be that you're paying that much attention to their career? Wow, you know, how did you do that? Well, Google did it for you, but they don't have to know that. I, I know back when I was, um, I headed up all the marketing for a large real estate firm in the Philadelphia area, we used to have a, what was called then a clipping service. And there were certain newspapers and magazines and you had to pay to have them searching those and then how many clips they would give you. Well, Google now does all this stuff for free so that you can find out what's going on about you, what's going on about all the people that you care about so that you can stay up on that and your competitors. What are your competitors? So only the people you want to impress. What else are they doing so that you know? Sure. You don't want to find out six months down the road that they just announced something and they're No, stay in touch with it. So that's why this is really important in the monitoring. It's not simply what you're doing. because all you know, It's not just the negative things that are out there as well for us. We want to know what's going on in other people's businesses so Absolutely. we can keep ours really going. So you need to monitor that whole landscape that's out there. That's right. So you're monitoring for any you know, warning signs of something negative happening. Uh, you're monitoring to make sure your positive content that you're generating is doing its job and getting out there. You're monitoring to collect information that you're going to create content about. And you're monitoring to do market research or, or competitor research or client research so that you can use that to, uh, you know, again, do a different kind of marketing. And we indicate right here again, this is on the inside page from repairyourownlegendnow.com. So that once you've logged in there, you're then going to be taken to this page. And one of the things here that, that we talk about is if you fall below 80% um, of the coverage on page one for your particular keyword terms, you want to start increasing some more of your activity and putting out good information about it. Hi, this is Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Costa. And when you search your name online, what do you find? That's right. You, we always recommend that you go to Google, go to the search engine, search yourself, your keywords, do an assessment, look at what you find. Is that an accurate reflection of who you are and how you want to appear to people when they look for you? That's right, because we have Create Your Own Legend now, and we're helping people really build up that legend about themselves online so that when people search for them, they really see the side of them that they want. And it's three to ten pages deep of information about you that you control. But Charlie, but what happens when you do that assessment, you're in those first three pages and you find either it's not a good reflection of you or someone has posted negative reviews about you or negative information or inaccurate information. What are right. you supposed to do? People exactly. keep asking us that. People keep coming to us about that. So we're going to cover that in this webinar. I'm really thrilled with the outline that we've come up with for this webinar. So on Tuesday, we want you to join us on this webinar. See what it is to create that legend about yourself. Grow that personal side of you that other people can see. But when there's a problem, 
you need to be able to take care of that, and that's what we're going to be able to help you with on this webinar. That's right. So just click the link here, go to the registration page. We're going to give you our four-part system for how you're going to repair going to your own budget. And you can choose on the registration form what time on Tuesday is going to work best for you. We're going to do this a couple of times on Tuesday. Right. So click that link, go sign up for this webinar, and learn how to create your own legend. If there's a problem, how to repair your own legend now. Join us on the webinar.